The McVeigh gotcha has to be one of the finest bonefish flies ever devised. First fished off Andros, one of the islands of the Bahamas, it has now become a firm favorite of anglers chasing bonefish on flats around the world. The hook is a Chemco 811S in a size 4 and the thread is a fluorescent hot pink waxed nylon. Tying in a layer of thread and trim the waist and accepting some bee chain eyes about a quarter of an inch behind the eye. Tied them in on top. Although of course this pattern will ride inversed. Then simply helicopter turns above the shank to secure the eyes and finish off with a few more cross wraps or figure eights. I'll add a little bit of thin varnish at this point just to soak into the thread. The tail material uh, are some strands I've taken from a mylar braid. Tied them in on top. Then I'll invert the hook. The body material is some pearl braid, which I tie in at the bottom. quite securely. Then reverse and keeping the braid at the bottom. And the mylar strands on top. Start the body in touching turns. The pink will bleed through at the end and I'll build up an underbody with the thread. Once the end of the shank is reached, just reverse the direction of the thread. I shall layer it one more time. Building up a bit of an underbody with the pink thread. I'll go all the way to the end. A very slight taper will result. Next, wrap the pearl braid quite tightly in touching turns. Trap. and tie it down in between the eyes. I 
and trim it away. Quite short. It will now look like this. The tail length is about the length of the body or slightly longer. And I'll trim it away at that length right now. For the wing on this fly, I'll reverse or inverse the hook, have it riding point up. Um, the wing consists of some tan craft fur. It's not a very heavy wing. And the wing length is the hook plus the tail. Tie down securely with cross wraps. And soak in some more varnish. Over this fur, craft fur wing, there'll be few strands, in this case three, of crystal flash. Uh, the color is either yellow or, in my case, root beer. It blends in nicely with the wing color itself. Just adds a little bit of flash. Fold back, so I end up with six strands of crystal flash. Now the head on this fly is a quite prominent feature, so there will be no shortage of wraps here. build up the body of this head. It's a bit of a misnomer, but I'm sure you'll understand what I mean. Same on the top side where the eyes were fixed. And finally, finish it off with a double grip finish. Add multiple layers of varnish, starting with a light coat, thin, and then follow up with heavier varnish to build it up to a smooth, hard head. The crystal flash snipped away at the length of the wing itself. And that completes the McVeigh gotcha.